about 15 years ago, I had a wake-up call from my family doctor. I went in for just a regular checkup, like we all do once in a while to the family doctor. And he called me back in and said, Bill, I got some bad news for you. Okay, what is it, Doc? He said, I'm sending you to a specialist. We have a bit of a problem we need to take care of. I'm not going to say much more about it. I said, well, I'd like to know what it is. He says, I'm sending you to a specialist. He'll tell you all about it. And then he reached over and he patted me on the knee and he said, Bill, I know you don't like taking drugs, but this is one time you're going to have to do what I tell you. So I went to the specialist, got the results, and the doctor said, uh, we have two choices right now. I'm going to give you a prescription, take these pills for a month, and if it don't work, then we'll use a knife. Well, about that time, I had a friend that called us up and said, uh, Bill, I need you to go listen to this conference in Red Deer where these guys are speaking about health issues, etc. Two weeks later, I went to Calgary and I listened to Mel basically give us the same information again. And after his presentation, I went up to him and I said, Mel, what do I do? I got these pills the doctor told me to use for a month to see if I could cure the situation, and I got your information. And Mel said, uh, Bill, you have to make a choice. Remember, my doctor said, I don't have a choice. This time, I've got to do drugs. Well, this time I did have a choice. So I said, Mel, what do I do? He said, make up your mind, Bill. You can't have it both ways. It will not work to do what the doctor's telling you and do this at the same time. It's got to be one or the other. So I stood there for a few minutes. Finally, I went back up to Mel and I said, okay, I'm in. Tell me what I need. He says, well, you're going to have to hit it hard, Bill, because you're in a condition right now where you can't wait. So that's what I did. I bought into the whole idea. I started taking the products and I figured that, you know, in a few weeks everything would be hunky-dory. Well, it was only a few weeks down the road before I phoned Mel and I said, Mel, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm going nuts. My whole body, my whole torso was coming out with sores and just oozing. And my wife would have to put me into a salt bath two or three times a night just to get the itching down enough so I could get a couple hours sleep. And I, th I said, Mel, I can't do this. He said, Bill, Bill, hang in there. It will get better. It's the, all the poisons coming out of your system. I was full of poison. Um, I had been in an industry. I was just absolutely full of poison. And it took, it took a very severe dosage 